Hi guys, um, welcome to the next Mario tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you um, how to get the first the uh, uh, collision with the top block just here. So Mario is going to just fall down like this. And what we're basically going to do is create some sensors, um, which basically, when they touch things, we're going to broadcast something to make Mario go back down. Um, so it's it's quite simple, but it's just there's a way you need to get it right uh, for it to work. Okay, so um, what you're first going to want to do is go into your uh, go into your folder with all your um, images, and you're going to want to copy your M jump um, M jump image um, and just rename it uh, to like sensor. Um, by the way, a quick tip for copying and pasting, you can just press Control C and then Control V and that will just duplicate the thing you're selecting. Okay, anyway, um, now you just want to uh, open this with GIMP and wait for that to load. And so you want to zoom in as far as possible. Look at Mario and his lovely face. Not really. Um, and you want to just get the select tool and for the we're gonna do the we're gonna have the same image for the left and right uh, sprites so um, yeah we're gonna just draw a little uh, selection here which is gonna be um, gonna be our sensor and uh, you wanna you wanna make sure at the top that there's two pixels from the top so if you go to the top and then count one and two down so we've got two pixels there and then go to the bottom and do the same so one two and you wanna just make the width to like five um, that's a good width for the sensor and that works best. Believe me, I've been doing this, um, practicing this a lot because it's quite complicated. Um, and before, actually, you want to create a new layer just to, um, just for your sense. You don't want to interfere with this background. Um, and you want to get the bucket tool just here, and choose a color. It doesn't matter what color it is because you're not going to be able to see it in the actual game. Um, and then just click into the selection like that, and uh, that color hasn't not hasn't worked. Um, by the way, if you if you want to undo something, just press Control Z, and that will undo the last thing you did. And okay, okay. Um, and yeah, that's going to be your left and right sensor. Then what you're going to want to do is go back to the select tool, and actually just delete this background because you're not going to need it for the sensor. And um, by the way, to delete a layer, just select it and then click the little bin icon down there, and it'll say delete this layer. Um, and then you just want to resize this back up to the top and the bottom. And then if you click in the image menu, there's this handy little thing that says fit canvas to selection, and basically it just resizes the canvas to the uh, selection. And then you just want to save that by clicking, uh, by pressing Control S, and it will say it can't handle layer offset. Just click Export, and close GIMP down, and you'll see we've got a little uh, image here. Okay, and actually, just rename this to Sensor Left Right. Okay, and. Um, you're actually just, I'll just open up um, hang on guys, uh, one second sorry guys, I just had to open I had to open up my uh, um, my project anyway, um, and this, you just open up your uh, Mario project and that should be the one without any collisions um, so I've got two separate projects, one that's completed and one that we're working on at the moment. So um, yeah, I had to open that up. Anyway, um, okay, where were I? Yeah, we were creating sensors. Um, so now also you want to uh, duplicate this again. Remember, just press Control C and then Control V, and rename this to sensor uh, sensor top. 
and do edit with GIMP again. And yeah, once this opens, um, you just want a little thing. If you're using Windows 7, you can just drag that up there and it will resize it to fit there, which is quite a good thing to have. Um, and in here you want to um, again get your selection tool and just select all along the top and for the Y1 here you want to put 5 and for here you want to put 28 and that will basically um, put that it will take off two pixels each side so yeah and if, you, if you're unsure about that just put its position to 2, 0 and size 28 by 5 okay and um, again create the new layer this is pretty much the same and you want to get a color it doesn't really matter what color I'm just gonna do a bright green very luminous bright green and again just um, just delete this layer and resize this out and do image uh, fit fit canvas selection and then uh, get away save it export okay and then finally we're gonna need one for the uh, bottom so just copy your sensor top and just rename it to um, rename it to sensor bottom um, we won't really be using the sensor bottom and the sensor left and right, but we will be using them in a future tutorial, so you may as well create them now. Um, <clears throat> and then just make this a different colour, just to distinguish them, distinguished between them. I'm going to make this one red. Okay, um, right, close down GIMP now. Okay, so you should have your sensor bottom, sensor left and right, sensor top. And okay. So now in Scratch, you're going to want to duplicate your Mario um, object and just get rid of all the scripts. Now um, also click don't rotate at the top, just so it doesn't rotate, basically. <laughs> um, get rid of all them and uh, you want to also get rid of all the costumes and stuff. And rename this sensor top, or top sensor actually because it'll be easier to see which one you're because if you see here you can see top sensor if I put the other way around you can't really see top so yeah anyway um an import hang on I'll just find my uh, folder okay I found my um I found my sensor top and imported it and uh, you want to click edit actually and um, go into here and just zoom in and you want to get the bucket tool and select the fill the like transparent color and just click on here to get rid of the white bits um, and press OK and it should now be 28 by 5 the size okay and now um, we are going to put in let's yeah let's just put the, to save time let's just do the sensor top for now um, in this tutorial because we're not actually going to be using the other sensors and you just want to put in a forever loop and um, you want to always go to uh, go to X and Y um, and you want to go into sensing and get X position of uh, Mario <coughs> and um, Y position of Mario and um, then you'll want to get an operator and get the plus one I think yeah get the plus one and um, you want to add on about 20 or something um, and put your Y position in there okay now basically this will go to the top of Mario and as you can see there's a slight like delay as Mario moves the um, Thing moves. That's why I've put it at 20 to be quite a lot because otherwise the collisions pro sometimes don't really work properly. So yeah, just put it at 20 um, and that'll be fine. Uh, we've got two item boxes, haven't we? Yeah, okay. Um, 
And now basically what you're going to want to do is put in another when the green flag is clicked. And you want to in here put just to um, just to like sense when um, when it's touching certain objects. Now if you've got really all you need to sense for is item boxes at the moment. Um, obviously in a more complicated Mario game you'd have to sense for all sorts of objects and you probably wouldn't be doing it in Scratch because Scratch is pretty limited in its things but um, for this now just um, since we've got two we can get the or uh, or operator and just duplicate that and make that item two just so we've got collisions for both of them and basically we're just going to do a broadcast um, basically if you don't know what broadcasts are they're basically these messages that you can broadcast throughout all the sprites and all the sprites can you know um, when when a message is broadcast can like react depending on what the message is so we're going to name ours top collision um, because it's the top sensor and it's going to collide with something and we want to go in our Mario sprite and then basically we're going to get the um, hang on yeah I did that right um, in here we want to get the when I receive top collision so that's basically Mario saying when I receive top collision I'm going to do something <laughs> if you want to think of it that way um, and so we are just going to set the uh, where is it set his velocity down to like you can either have it like minus one minus or minus two and they should be alright and then you're going to want to change his velocity by gravity and then finally um, change y by velocity. If you don't really understand this then you might want to watch like my velocity tutorial um, but basically what we're doing is we're just setting velocity to minus one so it'll be travelling downwards because the negative number is downwards and then we're basically changing the velocity by the gravity so gravity is a negative number so that's just going to change change the velocity by a further negative making it go down more and then we're just going to change his y by the velocity so it's going to change his y by a negative amount and yeah that should be all right now if we run this you can see he like goes down and also to make this more um, to make this more obvious you can change uh, the y to like minus 20 in your item blocks I'm, I'm gonna do that I, I would recommend you do that because they are quite high up at zero so um, here we go and um, yeah you'll see, yeah that works all right ish sometimes yeah it does go into the floor a bit and um, it should should work all right um, I'm afraid you can't really do a lot about this going into the floor um, because that's just how scratch is like sometimes it can be very slow um, might just be better if we do it again um, one thing we could do is uh, where is it um, one thing yeah one thing you can do to stop this is put the gravity at a less amount um, but I don't really want to do that because um, I think the gravity is like the right speed if you see what I mean um, you could start a bit further up minus 120 okay yeah uh, that's still going into the ground um, I don't know yeah it might be different for you but um, in my other project it seemed to be working alright okay I'm just gonna save that um, and that is basically it. If you want to get rid of this top sensor because it looks a bit weird without it actually, you know, being disabled, you can go when the green flag is clicked, and then forever, and then just in looks, uh, set get get this set color effect and change it to set ghost effect and set it to a hundred. Now basically, what that's going to do is it's going to make the sensor invisible, but it's still going to be there 
Um, instead, because you shouldn't use uh, hide because it actually disables the whole of the scripting and none of the scripting will work. If you just set the ghost effect, then the scripting will still work, but it will be invisible. So yeah, that is um, that is pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I am have been going on for quite a while, so I'll stop now. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, if you did enjoy, please um, give it a like, give this video a like or something. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next part. Um, see ya.